Tanzania is enchanting. It's one of the top African wildlife safari destinations. Wildlife lovers have choices of two very different routes. We have the Northern Circuit and the Southern Circuit. Hi, my name is Dominic Wilfred, and I welcome you to experience the Southern Circuit. Tanzania's Northern Circuit is rich with its worldwide renowned wildlife heavens. We have the Serengeti, Ngorongoro, Tarangire, and the Lake Manyara National Parks. Whereas the Southern Circuit is anchored on the Reslam and covers the Ruha National Park, Mikumi National Park, Udzungwa Mountains National Park, and the Seluz Game Reserve. The Udzungwa Mountains National Park is one of Tanzania's most outstanding and exciting wilderness areas. With unique wildlife species inhabiting this range of forests, this place is a paradise of its own. The park's scenery is spectacular, with the rainforest spreading across rolling hills, valleys and mountains. The park has a number of impressive waterfalls, including the Sanje Waterfalls, one of the highest waterfalls in the national park system of Tanzania. The park is treasured for the high level of biodiversity of plants, birds, and animals. The mountain range is often referred to as the Galapos Island of Africa, due to its rich levels of biodiversity and endemism. Udzungwa National Park sits in both Iringa and Morogoro region, whereby we've been trekking for over 16 minutes now to this point, where we have one of the finest attractions here at Udzungwa National Park, the Sanje Waterfalls. The trail behind me leads to one of the longest and tallest waterfalls here in Tanzania. Among it, we'll find other wildlife and good, fantastic vegetation within the area. I welcome you to experience this together with me. Let's enjoy the ride. We are still moving through into the dense forest. If you look at the vegetation, it's amazing. It's said that here in Uzungwa, there are almost 2,500 species of trees. Of the 2,500 species of vegetation found here, 160 are used for local medication by the locals who are the Wazungwa people. This has helped this forest to remain as natural as it is. As you can see around, it's virgin, untouched. In 1992, that's when the forest was formally inaugurated by a Dutch prince, Prince Bernard. Since then, it has been used by visitors and tourists coming from various places in the world. Today, 
Udzungwa is considered to be among the world's biodiversity hotspots, where people come from all over the world to experience this true nature. Udzungwa is a primate park, and there are currently 12 species of primate, including two found nowhere else in the world the Sanje Manga Bay and the Iringa Red Colobus. Udzungwa is said to be a home to approximately 400 species of birds, many of which are endemic to the area. We have arrived at the viewpoint to the Sanje waterfalls. As you can see, the waterfall is right there. It's absolutely magnificent. It is in the middle of a very dense forest. It has three drops, as you can see, from top to bottom, it has a height of about 170 meters. The view is pretty good, and I like it so far. It's among the only lodging places you can find around when you are visiting Mikumi National Park, Rua National Park, Udzungwa Mountain National Park and Selu Game Reserves. Let me show you the luxury and the hospitality I've experienced during my stay here at Udzungwa Falls Lodge. We have arrived at the parking lot here at Udzungwa Falls Lodge. The lodge is situated in the dense forest of Udzungwa Mountain National Park. As you can see around, the environment is really nice, it's cool. I can only hear the sounds of birds, monkeys and water. So let's proceed to the reception and let's see what the lodge has to offer. And I go and I can go. Oh, to Monga, I go. Oh, to Monga, I go. My name is Tony Patrick. I'm the operations director of Udzungo Falls Lodge. Karibu Udzungo. The lodge is graciously located in the hearts of the slopes of the Udzungwa Mountains National Park. Udzungwa Falls Lodge has been consistently praised for its hospitality, warm service and delicious foods. The Udzungwa Falls Lodge has natural vegetation surrounding it, with ample species of flora and fauna which makes your stay here enjoyable and quite refreshing. Udzungwa Falls Lodge has been operational since the year 2011. Udzungwa Falls Lodge is located in Morogoro at the foot of the Udzungwa Mountain National Park. The Udzungwa Mountain National Park is one of the world's biodiversity hotspots. Some say Udzungwa is all in one, which means Udzungwa is centrally located 
There is Vua down south, 350 kilometers from Udzungwa. And it's only an hour drive to the Mikumi National Park. And then it's only three kilometers to the Sanja waterfalls. There is a cross-cutting road through Seluz, through Mikumi from Seluz. There is a cross-cutting road to Mikumi from Seluz that makes all the three national parks even closer and hence making Udzungwa and Udzungwa Falls Lodge centralized. Located in the middle of three amazing national parks, the Great Rua National Park, the Mikumi National Park, as well as the Seleuze Game Drive. Udzungwa remains to be a unique destination favorable for photographic safaris, researchers who are interested in an endemic species. Udzungwa is rich because there is a wide number of butterflies, birds, primates, trees. A couple of years ago, some trees were not even named. I think Udzungwa is a paradise of dreams because the staff at Udzungwa are dedicated and passionate about what they do. They enjoy what they do. They have a training facility within the lodge that enables them to keep up the standards, even with the demands of the market. Most people call this a haven of peace. The most interesting part about clients, when I see clients coming to Zungo, is the part when they come in happy or surprised, but yet when they leave, they demonstrate that feeling of satisfaction, feeling that what they came for is exactly what they got. So this gives us strength all the time, it makes us encouraged, and we invite you all come and witness this exceptional and magnificent place. The lodge has more than 40 houses such as this, which gives them room to accommodate more than 80 persons per night. I am now inside one of the luxury accommodation houses here at Udzungwa Falls Lodge. This is the family lodging. As you can see, I'm inside the kids' room right now. There are one, two, three beds. This family lodging house has two rooms, where one of them is the kids' room, like this one, and the other one is the parents' room. This is the parents' room. As you can see, there is a large, big, king-size bed in which you can enjoy while your kids are in the other room. Outside each room there is a beautiful, beautiful balcony with this wooden chair as you can see it. You can enjoy most of your evenings while taking a very good view of the Kilombero Valley. Udzungwa Falls Lodge has a fine dining experience with a choice from our Lakate menu, featuring a wide variety of soups, salads, steaks, poultry dishes,
fine fish delicacies and mouth-watering desserts. An impressive list of soft drinks, cocktails, wines and spirits, couple that with the friendly staff and singing birds swirling around, you will know why this place is magical. Conferences, meetings, workshops and retreats can be held at the Lodge's conference hall. Together with other facilities such as a close to a semi-Olympic pool, a laundry and a kids playground, the Udzungwa Falls Lodge stands an edge above the rest. Most of our clients say this is a perfect place for isolation, honeymooners point, a getaway from the general crowd, a heaven of peace, a place where you feel like you're completely isolated from the rest of the world. And we, th we get to be so happy and we feel proud that we could give this opportunity to people. Udzungwa Falls Lodge has the best professional staff who are customly groomed at Udzungwa Utali College, located just close to the lodge. The college is registered by VETA and it's under NACTE certification. It admits students from all parts of Tanzania and beyond. The college offers professional courses in tourism and hospitality, ICT, and other business management studies. These courses are offered in both certificates and in two years diploma. The college has a boarding facility that allows students to full board throughout the semesters of study. The college is highly preferred by many due to the fact that students get numerous chances to exercise in field what they study in class. They do a practice in the lodge and its facilities for those doing hospitality and business courses. Together with regular visits along with clients to the attractions in the southern circuit, these students get to enjoy tourism courses in actual field. With affordable food structure and high-quality professional career studies offered at Uzungwa Utali College, the college still remains to be one of the best in Morogoro region. In between Uzungwa Falls Lodge and the Uzungwa Utali College, there is Udzungwa Falls Bakery. We are at Udzungwa Falls Bakery, a place where the lodge and the college bakes a lot of bakery products, ranging from bread, scones, and other bakery products, such as cakes. The bakery has provided a platform where the students at the college can practice in real life how to make bakery products. Also the products manufactured here are sold commercially to nearby regions such as Morogoro and Ifakara. At the lodge, they get to enjoy first-hand homemade products, the breads consumed, the cakes and such other things such as scones. It's really fascinating. I've gone through the process in which they execute themselves from start to finish, in which they really get good ready-made bakery products. 
Thank you.